Hey friends, you're in Mrs. Kneifel's house. I don't know if I've filmed the video for you guys yet inside my house, but there's some pictures of me and I'm sitting in my favorite seat in my chair. This is a wall. There's my masks that I grab from every day to go to school, but I am at home filming this in advance. You're watching this on Thursday. If you hear barking, I'm super sorry. Bristol may bark. Benji's with my husband and the dryer's going. So you may hear some extra noise, but that's all besides the point. Welcome to my house. So we're going to go through all your grammar practice pages. So this week we've been learning about complex sentences. We did some together. You had to do some on your own. But right now we're going to go through all the practice pages to make sure you have the correct answers for tomorrow's, quit, uh, tomorrow's test. So remember, if you've turned in your grammar practice pages, you need to unsubmit them right now. That way you can fix things as we go through. So I'm going to share my screen and you're just going to hear my voice and me talking through them. And I want you to make sure you have the correct answers. That way you have it for your test tomorrow. So this week, once again, been learning about complex sentences. So now I'm going to share my screen. Dun, 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 dun. Share tab. Okay. All right. So complex sentences with conjunctions. Remember last week we talked about conjunctions and, but, or, or were the main ones we we're focusing on. Then we also talked about those subordinating conjunctions that are traditionally at the beginning of sentences, but can be in the middle. If, because, when, while, since, although, all of those subordinating conjunctions. So remember, a subordinating conjunction connects two thoughts to make a complex sentence. The thought with a subordinating conjunction can not, not stand on its own. It needs the rest of the sentence to make sense. So when we're just using a regular conjunction and but and or, we are normally combining two tiny sentences and making them one big one. But when we're using that subordinating conjunction, this part of the sentence needs that part of the sentence. They need each other. So the, an example here was subordinating conjunction. Because a storm was coming, we went home early. So because a storm was coming, not a complete sentence. What about because the storm was coming? It needs that we went home early. So some subordinating conjunctions are if, because, when, while, since, and although. So on this first chunk, the first six, and I know we did some of these together, but I'm going to go through them again. No big deal. All you had to do was highlight the subordinating conjunction in each sentence. Our first one, although it was cloudy, we decided to go for a drive. Although is our conjunction. Although it was cloudy, what about although it was cloudy? We need that second half. We decided to go for a drive. Number two, we wanted to go to the beach since the weather was still warm. Since the weather was still warm, we need that first half. We wanted to go to the beach. Because it looked like it might rain, we took our umbrellas. We took our umbrellas could be a sentence on its own, but that first chunk, because it looked like it might rain, needs that ending. Number four, we plan to head home if the rain became too heavy. If is our subordinating conjunction. That second half needs that first half. While we were at the beach, we picked up some seashells. We picked up some seashells, can stand alone, but we need the first half needs that second half. While we were at the beach, while is our conjunction. And last but not least, for this first section, when the first raindrop fell, we walked back to the car. When the first raindrop fell, what about when the first raindrop fell? We need that second half. We walked back to the car. When is our subordinating conjunction? So you should have one subordinating conjunction highlighted in each of those first six sentences. And then scrolling down to the dependent and independent clauses, which I kind of already talked about a little bit up there. Remember, a complex sentence is made up of a dependent and an independent. Okay? Dependent has that subordinating conjunction and the rest, and it needs the rest of the sentence to make sense. Independent can stand on its own. Remember, all of you guys are dependents. You have a parent or a guardian or a grandma. You live with someone. You're a dependent. Mrs. Kneifel, independent. I'm an adult. So baby part of the sentence, dependent. You guys, independent adult part. Hopefully you guys remember from when I said that earlier. So you had to highlight the dependent the child part, and underline the adult part, independent clause within each sentence. So we boarded up the windows because a hurricane was coming. We boarded up the window should be underlined. That could be a sentence all on its own because a hurricane was coming. That is the dependent. What about because of a hurricane was coming? That cannot stand alone. Number two, after we were finished, we went to the store for supplies. After we were finished, after we were finished, what? 
That is dependent. We need the rest of the sentence to explain that. So that needs to be highlighted. We went to the store for supplies. That is independent. That could be a sentence all on its own. Number three, because the storm could knock down power lines. What about because the storm could knock down power lines? That is dependent. We need the other part of the sentence for this whole thing to make sense. And it is we bought flashlights. Well, we bought flashlights could be a sentence all on its own as well. The next ones, we wanted to hurry back before the storm started. Before the storm started, what about before the storm started? Before would be our subordinating conjunction. That is dependent. We need the rest. We wanted to hurry back. We wanted to hurry back could be on its own if it chose to be. And the last one for this section, number five, while the hurricane raged, we stayed safe inside. While the hurricane raged, what about while the hurricane raged? That is dependent. It needs the other half of the sentence to make sense. We stayed safe inside. Well, we stayed safe inside could be all alone if it needed to be. All right. Hopefully you have no questions here. If you do have any questions, make a note of it. We could always go over it tomorrow before the actual quiz. No big deal. And remember, you should be correcting things as we're going. All right. And the correlative conjunction, they always work in pairs. It means two words or phrases or clauses that are parallel. They need each other. Some chord of conjunctions are both an and, either or, neither, nor, not only, but also whether or. Always in pairs. So you only had to highlight the correlative conjunctions in just these two. So the first one was neither the museum nor the historian could find out, could find more than one pictures of sailors. Neither nor. They work in a pair. Both of those need to be highlighted. Next, both the crew and the captain felt relieved. Both an and work hand in hand. Both of those need to be highlighted. The next, um, the next three which I know we did some of these together, don't forget, but we're just going over through, again, no big deal, especially because I'm not here, so we're just going to go through it all. So you had to use the correlative conjunction in the parentheses between the two sentences, and you actually had to type the new sentence under the old sentence. Yes, you had to actually type it. Hopefully you did that. So we have, Nathan would become a sailor depending on the outcome of his training. He would become a doctor depending on the outcome of his training. Okay, well, we don't need to say depending on the outcome of his training twice. Like, who says that? That's annoying. So the new sentence and the correlative conjunction you were told to use was whether or or. So the new sentence should be whether Nathan became a sailor or a doctor would depend on the outcome of his training. So whether Nathan would become this or this would depend on the outcome of his training. So now we only said the depending on the outcome of his training once, and sailor and doctor are combined with or, and weather is at the very beginning. Number two, rescuer, rescue, sorry, rescues were often long. They were often dangerous. Okay, well, yeah, let's combine those. We don't need those baby sentences. Let's make it a good, nice, complex sentence. So an and, you're supposed to use both an and for correlative conjunction. So rescues were both often long and dangerous. So both long and dangerous, okay? So you're putting both and then long and dangerous, all right? And last but not least, bye bye. Not last but not least, because so more pages. Last for this page, we had to, it was, he was a good swimmer. He was a tremendous leader. Once again, he was, he was. We don't want to repeat things like that. We want to use compound and complex sentences to make our sentences interesting instead of just repeating the same, same, same thing. So not only, but also, new sentence, not only was he a good swimmer, but also a tremendous leader. That is how I would rewrite all three of those sentences. So you can always, I know this is a lot to type. If you, for some reason, didn't already type these, you could always ask the um, Miss Parrish to maybe pause so you can type these and start again. But I'm going to continue on. You can always ask her to pause or go scroll back later. Or this video is also going to be posted on your Google Classroom. It's probably there now. You could always check it out there. I'm going down sentence or page three. Not sentence three. I apologize. Page three. So here we're just reviewing those complex sentences. And let's remember, a complex sentence contains two groups of words the independent clause or the adult clause that can be all on its own is sentence by itself and then the dependent or child by yourself clause that adds meaning to the sentence but it cannot be alone if it's alone it's not a complete sentence 
The dependent clause begins with the subordinating conjunctions, such as when, because, if, while, although, and these conjunctions show the relationship between the two clauses. So, Dave found a book about women pirates, or patriots, sorry, not pirates, sorry. Dave found a book about women patriots. That could be a sentence all on its own. But we're going to use the subordinating conjunction while he was researching the Boston Tea Party and add that dependent clause. So while needs to be highlighted there. Number two for this section. Although women rarely took part in political protests at this time, a group of women got together in 1740 or in 1774 in Edenton, North Carolina. Although is our subordinating conjunction and everything that follows it to that comma is the dependent clause. At the dependent at the comma is when the independent clause starts. A group of women got together in 1774 and eating to North Carolina could stand on its own. The woman decided to boycott tea and other British goods because they thought the taxes were unfair. Because it's our subordinating conjunction, they thought the taxes were unfair. That is our dependent clause. We need the other half. Like, who thought the taxes were unfair? Because why? Like, we need that other chunk. And the other chunk is the wind decided to boycott tea and other British goods. Then the last one for this section. When people in Britain heard about the Edenton protests, they did not take the women seriously. So they did not take the women seriously. Could be a sentence all on its own. The first part is the dependent because it starts with a subordinate conjunction. Okay? A little review on that. Uh, then the next part, we just once again underlining the independent and highlighting the dependent. Independent adult, like Mrs. Kneifel, I live on my own. Well, I live with my husband, but you know, I'm an adult. Dependent, you, child, need someone, right? You don't take care of yourself. You have a parent or a guardian. Someone lives in your house with you. So, did return the book to the library after he completes his project? Dave will return the book to his library. Could be all on its own. So that is independent it's underlined after our subordinating conjunction he completes the project that is our dependent clause we need the first half he wants to read about some of the other patriots because their stories are interesting he wants to read about some of the other patriots could be all by its little loads himself that makes sense because their stories are interesting because it's our subordinating conjunction whose stories are interesting because why their stories are interesting that is dependent we need the other chunk and last but not least, if no other students need the book, sorry, my washing machine is probably really loud. I'm sorry. If no other students need the book, Dave will ask the librarian if he can check it out for another week. If no other students need the book, what about if no other students need the book? That is the dependent clause. If is our subordinating conjunction, Dave will ask the librarian if he can check it out for another week. So on your assessment this week, well, tomorrow, you need to be looking for those subordinating conjunctions and finding where in the sentence it breaks into two. Which part of the sentence makes sense all on its own? Like, oh yeah, that's a great sentence. But we added some more detail with that. Dependent, dependent, child part of the sentence. It needs an adult, which is the adult in this case is the independent. Independent can be all on its own. And last but not least, the same thing as always. We always have the paragraph of the last thing, connecting to writing, using complex sentences. So as always, read the selection and choose the best answer to each question. Terry wrote a paragraph about surfing. Read his paragraph and look for any revisions he should make and then answer the questions that should follow. Catch a wave. Surfing can be dangerous. It is a fun sport. There's nothing like catching a big wave. On our start, wait, one way to start is to try bodyboarding. A bodyboard is sh a shorter surfboard that you can ride on your belly. Only try it on days when lifeguards say the ocean is safe. Strong waves are dangerous. A rip current could pull you out to sea. There's our lovely paragraph. Not my favorite paragraph ever. There's some tiny sentences in there that could probably be made into better complex or compound sentences. One. Which shows the best way to combine sentence one and two? Sentence one says surfing can be dangerous. Sentence two says it is a fun sport. Well, you can already see it's highlighted. And the correct way to rewrite these is, although surfing can be dangerous, comma, it is a fun sport. So although is our subordinating conjunction, surfing can be dangerous, dependent clause, comma, it is a fun sport. That could be by itself independent clause. And number two, which shows the best way to combine sentence seven and eight? 
Sentence seven was strong waves are dangerous. Sentence eight, a rip current could pull you out to sea. And since it's already highlighted on the board, C is the correct choice for the best way to rewrite these. Because a rip current could pull you to C, strong whip currents are dangerous. So this is letting you know you out to sea. So because subordinating conjunction, a rip current could pull you out to sea, independent clause, strong waves are dangerous, could be a sense on its own, independent clause. Okay? So if you need Miss Parrish to rewind this video to go to any certain page, you are free to do that. This answer key, though, should be posted on your Google Classroom sometime today if it's like... I don't know when, but it'll be up there. And um, this video should also be posted to your Google Classroom. Make sure you pay attention to Ms. Parrish and what you're going to do for the rest of the day. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions that Ms. Parrish can't answer or a neighbor can't ask her, answer, save them for the comments below. Hope you had fun. Um, hang out at my house. This is my little lovely house here. Crystal. Okay, she's not getting up. Okay, sorry, I was going to show you Bristol, but never mind. All right, so long, my friends.